Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Pearl and this is Pearl's Journey. I just want to hop on here to give you guys a quick update on what's been happening. My last video, I told you guys about Gracie, how she's been sick, she was hospitalized. And today I just want to give you guys a quick update on what's been happening and what is happening. And before I go there, I just want to tell you guys a little bit about Grace. For those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to my channel. Grace is our nine-year-old daughter. She's been diagnosed with full trisomy 18 and autism level three. And she has been getting sick a lot. She was hospitalized ending of August and she has been getting colds back to back. And I don't know what's going on. It's like, it's just not giving her a break. She got sick, hospitalized, kept at home. Then when she was fine, we sent her back to school. She came back with another cold. Her nose was running and we kept her home, nursed her back to health, sent her back to school, came back with another cold. And it's just going on and on. And we've kept Gracie home for so long. This week, you guys, today is the second day that she's going back to school. I am praying that she will not come back with another cold, but this has been what's been going on. And as you guys know, when Gracie is sick, Gracie is really sick. Even a cold, a cold means life or death for Gracie. Um, I have to be on guard. I have to be monitoring her. And when she's sick, you guys, she doesn't want to stay down. She wants to be here on mommy's chest and she's there all day, all night. I don't get time to do anything else. I don't even have time to go to the bathroom. So this is why sometimes you don't see an update from me. I don't upload videos, not because I don't want to. I do want to do that. I love sharing with you guys, but it's because I am not able to because I have Gracie on me and Gracie's priority. So this is what's happening today. She went back to school. Like I said, today's the second day and I'm praying that she will continue going to school. And another thing that happened when Gracie was hospitalized, um, they said she might have pneumonia. So she, they gave her antibiotics and Gracie's immune system was already low and giving her that, I believe it brought it down even lower. And I'm trying my best to boost her immune system. Gracie, you guys, she eats everything sometimes, but there are times that she will be very, very picky. And this is the season for Gracie to be very, very picky. Gracie is very picky. She is not eating everything that we are giving her. And the one, the major thing that I used to hide a lot in was a smoothie. She stopped taking the smoothie. Gracie only wants mac and cheese. And you guys, I can't give Gracie mac and cheese forever. I have to try to sneak in things, but there is so much you can sneak in the mac and cheese, but the smoothie, I could have hidden a whole lot of stuff in there. I, I stopped it for a little while cause she didn't want it, but I'm going to start it again. When she comes home, I'm going to try offering her some smoothie in there. I put all kinds of berries. I put cherries. I put hemp seed, flax seed, chia seed, sea moss peanut butter, everything you can think of. I put that in there, vegetables. I put all of that in there, hoping that she will eat at least a bowl full. I know when I give that to her, she has gotten a lot of antioxidants and omega-3 and all of these good stuff. So guys, pray that Gracie start back eating everything. And I am hoping that things will go well. She will be well, by the grace of God, I decree and declare that she will be well. No more colds in Jesus' name. Um, I, I am still on my healing journey. I am doing well by God's grace. I still want to share with you guys. Um, I've been meeting people and they're sharing with me what they're going through. And as a result of my me sharing my journey, so they they felt okay to open up to me. I've met a few people and I just want to continue because when I started doing that, I was afraid. I was afraid of the backlash. I hesitated a lot to put so much out, although there's so much more to tell. But 
um, now that I'm seeing how much it's helping other people. And I said, Lord, even if it helps one person, I'm okay with that. And it is helping and I'm grateful for that. So it is encouraging me to share more. So guys, thank you guys for that. And this is what's happening. Um, I have so many ideas, so many things that I want to share with you guys. I am praying that Gracie keeps, I have decreed and declared, Gracie will be well. I will be sharing with you guys and hope that it will help somebody. Um, you guys know some of you are parents to children with special needs and you know how it is. You know when your child gets sick, how stressful it is and how much it takes, you know, from you as a parent. And it also takes from the family as well because you have to care for everybody and you just don't have the time to care for yourself. But this time around, I tried my best to drink water. Um, I drank, I tried to do it as best as I could and I'm okay. Last night I got a good How time flies. I just dropped Grace this morning and now it's already 12 o'clock and I have to run in a little bit to go pick up Grace. But you guys, last night I got a good night of sleep. I slept well. I woke up refreshed this morning. Thank you, Jesus. So this is what's happening. I have so much more to share with you guys. I will be sharing and please don't forget to like, share, comment. And those of you who are here for the first time, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you guys so much. And until next time, please take care of yourselves and your loved ones. Bye.